That's right, Jen. So this is the building where James and Jennifer Crumbly were found hiding after a call was placed in 911. Now, even though the couple were arrested without any incident, Detroit police are now investigating a new angle. Yes, in fact, they were aided, and we're looking into that portion of the investigation. That part is very active right now. Detroit Police Chief James White also confirmed at the 3 a.m. press conference that no other individual was arrested besides the Crumblies. There's likely to be charges, uh, but again, we, we've got uh, two prosecutors now that's going to be involved in that part of it. We've got the Oakland County prosecutor as well as our, as our own prosecutor. The chief assured the families of the victims and all those affected by the tragedy that justice will be served. We, we've got a number of victims in Oxford. Uh, it, it takes as much manpower as it takes. Uh, I mean, personnel and resources to bring that family closure uh, is inconsequential for me. I mean, we, we we're going to use as, as much uh, personnel as necessary to, to give the families in, in Oxford the closure that they need. And it's a very, very tragic incident that really has touched not just this community, not just the state, uh, you know, but this country. I mean, we're, we're tired of this. Now, James and Jennifer Crumbly have been booked by the Oakland County Sheriff's Office, and it is believed they will be arraigned this morning. I will have details on that as the story develops. Jen, back to you.